In this video, we're going to be discussing two very important questions related to similar and congruent triangles. Now, this is one of those topics that I don't have a lot of content on, so I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, so both these questions are from October, November 2018. One of them is paper two, variant one, and the other is paper two, variant two. Okay, so let's get straight to it. It says here, A, B, C are points on the circle center O, okay. T A and T C are tangents to the circle. T D O B is a straight line. A T O is equals to X. Okay, show that triangle O A T is congruent to triangle O C T. All right. So, and whenever you're doing a similar or a congruent triangle related question, make sure to have a look at the marks also. So that's going to tell you how many statements you need to write. So since it's a three mark question, I'm going to write at least three statements, and not at least, but yeah, um, three statements should be enough. So, first thing is that since O A and OT, I'm going to highlight as we speak. So OA and OC, sorry, are both radii of the same circle. So I'm going to write OA is equals to OC and they're both radii. So of course, they're going, they're, they need to be the same. So here's one side of the two triangles uh, that is equal. The next is that they have a common side, which is OT. So OT is equals to OT and that's common, okay? Now, keep in mind is that OT, although it's a common side, but it's also the hypotenuse. Now, why exactly is that? That's because this angle right here needs to be 90 degree. Why? Because it is radius and tangent. This is the point at which radius and tangent meet, okay? So I'll write it over here so that you guys don't forget is that angle OAT is equals to 90 degrees because this is the point where radius and tangent meet. And it's not just gonna be 90 degree, uh, it's not just angle A, OAT, which is gonna be 90 degree, OCT also has to be 90 degrees, okay? So, which means that this is the hypotenuse and OA equals to OC is basically a side, okay? And since I just mentioned that this angle is 90 degree, uh, so this means, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag this over here so this tells me that the triangle, the two triangles are not just regular triangles. In fact, they are 90 degree triangles, okay? So R HS is the property due to which they are congruent. So, the, so triangle OAT, I'll write it over here. Triangle OAT is congruent to triangle OCT. And what's the reason? The, the, or the property is RHS, okay? R for right. H for hypotenuse and S for side, okay? So, gotta keep this in mind. Then it says, find in terms of X, giving your answers as simply as possible, A, O, T, O, A, B. Okay, so, that means we're gonna be dealing with circle properties here, although we don't have any values, and honestly speaking, there's no need to freak out. Even if you did have, even if the values were given, the method would have been the same. Now, the difference is that now we're gonna be using a lot of algebra, and uh, in some, Otherwise, we would just have been using simple arithmetic multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Okay, so if the angle given to us, ATO, is X, so that means this angle right here will also be X because we just saw that the two triangles are congruent. And the angle that we have to find is AOT. So it's, let's just call it Y, or you can just refer to it as AOT if you want. So the working here would be that AOT plus X plus 90 are the three triangles in a, a in a triangle, are the three angles in a triangle, sorry. So if I make A, O, T the subject, so that's gonna be 90 minus X. So there you go, 90 minus X. So I'll write it over here. Actually, there's no need to, but yeah, I'll do it anyway, 90 minus X. Okay, so that's that. Next part is uh, O, A, B. Okay, so let's have a look at O, A, B. So O, A, B is basically this angle. Now, let me switch to a different color. Now, before I write OAB, let's find out this angle, okay? And let me tell you something, that triangle OAB is, an iso is going to be an isosceles triangle, okay? So I'll highlight the triangle that I'm using so it doesn't create any confusion. So this is the triangle that I'm focusing on right now. So OAB is gonna be an isosceles triangle because OA and OB, they're both radii of the same circle. And if you just focus on this part of the shape, you will realize that there is a property that can be applied here. So this angle, angle ABO, is basically the angle that's at the circumference, okay? And 90 minus X is basically the angle that's at the 
center. So what is the property that links the two? It is angle at the center is equal to, is twice the angle at the circumference or angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center. So that means the angle that I want here is simply going to be 90 minus x divided by two. Now you may be wondering why exactly did I figure out OBO, why not OAB? Because they're both gonna be the same because it's an isosceles triangle. So the sides opposite to the equal, the angles opposite to the equal sides are also gonna be the same. So this right here will also be 90 minus x upon two. So there you go, 90 minus x upon two. Okay, and then you have reflex angle ADC. So let's go back, have a look at ADC. Now, what I would like to do is just to just clear the mess that I've made here. Yeah, that should make things a lot simpler. Okay, reflex angle ADC is basically, is basically going to be this angle. Reflex angle, remember, is the angle that's greater than 180, but less than 360, okay? So let's see how this can be worked out. Okay, so here's what we can do. Now we just figured out this angle to be equal to 90 minus x, right? And which basically means that this angle also will be 90 minus x. And not only that, in fact, hang in there. I just had an idea. So basically I'm gonna be focusing on this triangle only, okay? And this too will be an isosceles triangle for the same reason because OA and OD are radii of the same circle. So let's call this, uh, we've used X, we've used Y, let's call this A for the time being. So that means this angle will also be A, okay? So here's how this works. 90 minus X plus A plus A is equals to 180, okay? So 2A is equals to 180 minus 90 will be 90 plus X and A is gonna be equal to 90 plus X upon two. Now it's only this part that's 90 plus X upon two, which means that this part is also gonna be 90 plus X upon two because they're both congruent. Now we're almost there, okay? So what I need to do now is I need to do, now all of it will be 360, okay? So from 360, I need to get rid of 2A. Okay, I need to get rid of twice of A. So although I already know what 2A is equals to, so I can simply write 90 plus X, but if that doesn't click to you in the exam, you can, you can do it the conventional way, which is two times the, the expression of A. I was gonna say value, but this is not exactly a value. So this and this gets canceled out. So you have 360 minus 90 minus X. So this turns out to be 270 minus X, which is the correct answer. So there you have it, 270 minus x, okay? So remember, it's it's a game of patience, okay? So you gotta be patient, you gotta be, you gotta have the properties at the very top of your head so, so that, you know, you can apply comfortably. And also, don't forget that you're asked to give the reflex angle here. So whenever you see a keyword like this, I'd suggest you underline or highlight it so that, you know, you don't miss it out so easily. Okay, then it says here, the radius of the circle is six centimeter, all right? And given that X is equal to 35 degrees, work out BT. So X right here is 35 degrees. And what exactly do we need to work out? We need to work out BT. Okay, so BT is basically all of this. All right, we'll get to it in a second. And the radius is six. So the fact that we know the radius means that this is gonna be six, this is gonna be six, this is gonna be six. Okay, and what else? What else can we find out? No, I think that's that's about it. Yeah, okay. So here's how this works. This angle we know is a 90 degree angle. Uh, it's a 90 degree triangle, in fact. So let's consider this triangle. So this triangle, if I draw it nicely over here, so this angle is gonna be 90 degrees, okay? And X, so this, the 90 degree angle is at A. Here's T, which is 35 according to the question which means that this angle is going to be 180 minus 90 is 90, 90 minus 35 is gonna be 55, yeah, 55 degrees, okay. Now, what do we know? We know OA, which is six. So in order to work out OT, I'm gonna use this angle. And the length that I, be, I have is the length opposite to 35. The length I need to find is the hypotenuse length. So that means I gotta use sine, yeah, so. So sine 35 is equals to opposite, which is six upon hypotenuse, which is OT. So let's work this out. OT is equals to six divided by sine 
35, which is going to be equal to, whoops, no, it's not a vector, sorry about that, which is going to be equal to 6 divided by sine 35 is equal to 10.5, 10.5. Now that you have OT, all you got to do is, you got to add OB to it, okay? So, OT, oops, sorry, not a vector, where do I keep making a vector, plus OB is what you want, because that's going to give you the entire length, BT. So, 10.5 plus 6 is equals to 16.5, which is your final answer. And how many marks was this worth? This was worth 3 marks. So quite a comprehensive question. And uh, I hope all the concepts covered were clear to all of you. And uh, the next question, although I decided to cover it in this video, but it's just going to make it very long. But the next question I'll cover in the next video. So see you guys in the next one.